Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In the previous tutorial, guys, we were talking about class selectors, and uh, in this in this tutorial, we'll talk about ID selectors. Guys, firstly, I'll tell you what's the main difference between ID selectors and class selectors. The first is that we should not use ID selector or IDs or identifiers, whatever you want to say, more than one time in HTML document. And second thing, the syntax. That's it. So. In this tutorial, guys, I'm again using external jQuery file. So, firstly, I've created an ID. I give it a name of first, and I will close it. Now, I will adjust its CSS. So, we're using a ID and ID for for that. I will use a pound sign, and I'll type its name. Its name is first. Then brackets. Let's just CSS. 200 pixels of width and 50 pixels of height. So, and um, I'll give the background of red. So, firstly, I'll open. I'll remove uh, the jQuery code from here and I'll type it from beginning. So, firstly, I'll open it in browser. Now you can see this is the div tag what we have created. So, I'll give it a color of white and I'll write this is first ID. Now, I'll create one more ID. I'll give the name of second. So and I will also adjust CSS as same as first. So I'll copy it and paste it and then I will change its name. So it's I'll give it name of second. So I'll refresh and uh, I'll give it a margin of top margin top of ten pixels. No, it's good. So we will apply some jQuery to it. So for that I write firstly document.ready function So inside this I will type my ID selector the dollar sign to brackets and single quotes or double quotes I'm using single quotes and then pound sign in the case of ID selector and then type the name of ID its name is first so firstly we are applying some CSS or oh, sorry jQuery on first ID. So I give it dot to fade out. So if I refresh now you can see it's have been fade out. So now I also adjust its timing four seconds. Now you can see it and I will write it this is second ID. Now, if I refresh, now we'll see if this effect is working properly. So, now if I want to apply this effect on second uh, second ID, so I write a pound sign, then name of identifier or ID. If I refresh, now we'll see the second div is hidden. So, in the same way, guys, uh, just we are creating a h1 tag and I write this is h1 tag okay just comment it out I will not remove it I'll just comment it out uh, oh sorry I'm typing it wrong this is the wrong way to type the comment yeah it's working I will also comment it out Now I'll create a uh, h1 tag and write this is h1 tag and uh, I will give it a ID of a ID of first. Now this this CSS is applied to this h1 tag also. So if I refresh, I see this is h1 tag. Now we want to apply some jQuery to it. So in this case, we'll go to jQuery file, external jQuery file. Now I'll type h1, then pound sign, and then first. 
because we have applied first ID to H1 tag. So if I refresh, now you will see it is hidden in four seconds and it is working properly. Now I'll remove it from here and also I'll remove the comments. If I refresh, so I want to apply this jQuery action or effect to both of these IDs at the same time. So for that, I will write pound sign, name of first ID, and then comma, and then pound sign, and name of second ID. It's first and second. You can give any name, and I will also adjust its speed to two seconds. And if I refresh, now you will see it is this jQuery is applied to both of these ID selectors. So this was about ID selectors. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see you in the next tutorial.